Hey guys, we're back with another video on the Night Rider trailer. And for once, I'm not doing the work. We got young Mr. Eric Wang right there, up on the roof, sealing it, finally. Slaving away. Slaving away and sealing it. So he's up there, he's got one of those Go professional cameras on his head, giving you a bird's eye view of what's going on. And we're gonna take you up there as well, so you know, you can watch him watching the footage. I don't know, it's like this meta thing, but roof's getting sealed. Let's check it out. All right guys, so in previous semi-videos, we've talked about how you can get your name on a plaque in the semi that'll be hung in the semi for all of eternity. And you guys have really delivered. We've been mentioning this pretty much in every semi-video where for a $100 donation, you can get your name put on this plaque. Now, when we started this months and months ago, I would hand write the names on a piece of paper on the wall of the trailer. Well. You guys just kept on donating, kept on donating, and we now have hundreds and hundreds of donations um, to put on this wall. So, and the semi, we're at the point now where we're starting to finish the interior panel. So we're no longer writing the names, you know, um, on the wall just as like a placeholder. So, um, but your donations help us so much. This project is extremely expensive. Um, and time consuming, but mostly expensive. Um, and I don't think we could do this restoration without your help. So um, we certainly appreciate every single one of you who has donated to this project. We're gonna keep um, soliciting donations pretty much until this project is done, um, which who knows when that'll be. So if you are interested in having your name on this plaque we're gonna build or we're going to install in the semi. I don't know where it's going to be installed yet. Um, it'll be someplace that it'll be easy for people to see whether it's a panel we remove and all the names are there or it's, I don't know, we'll figure it out or maybe inside the wall unit, but uh, 400 and some names and counting, it's going to be a big plaque. And I was thinking something like laser engraved with the night head on top. I mean, we'll make it really, really nice. But um, if you're interested in donating, there's a link in the description below um, of how you can do that. There's all, basically all you do is email nightridersemi at gmail.com. It's also our PayPal address. So if you wanna go ahead and send your $100 donation through PayPal, nightridersemi at gmail.com. But if you need an alternate way to pay or you just had any questions about it, you can also email nightridersemi at gmail.com and we we'll answer all of your questions. But, um, we're gonna go ahead and show you all of the newest names since our last video. These are all the people that have donated since our last video. So we wanna thank all of them for their donations. And like I said, it really, really helps us. And it's all of these donations help us to get this semi back to its condition in 1986, which I think we all wanna see. So thank you again. Again, if you're interested, PayPal, nightridersemi at gmail.com. There's also options for Venmo, money orders, uh, GoFundMe, things like that. So you can email us at nightridersemi at gmail.com with any questions. All right. Today is the day to seal the roof. Joe, Joe and I have been talking about this for a very long time. See all the stuff there. I'm gonna clean this off. When there's something strange on the trailer roof, who are you gonna call? Not the Ghostbusters. You're gonna call Highlighter Stories. All right. And my proton pack here, makeshift. It's time to bust some debris. And away we go.
uh, head camera steady, but I'm also trying to get this done because it's late in the day and I just drove about 1,600 miles in the last couple days. Why, you might ask? Well, we will share that with you in a bit. It's for a very important piece related to this project. Any guesses on what it is? All right, we're gonna head up and see what kind of a mess Eric is making. <laughs> we're gonna see if he's gonna lose his junior Knight Rider Historian's badge. Assistant. Assistant to the assistant to the assistant to the janitor, Knight Rider Historian. Well, I've definitely been doing janitor duties today. That's for sure. Be a real shame if you fell into that, wouldn't it? But... Is that still that first pour? Yeah. Oh, well, maybe. Maybe, yeah, maybe we will. Maybe you'll get lucky. First pour of Swiss Miss chocolate pudding. Mmm, jello pudding pops. Who doesn't like jello pudding pops? Guess that's a Bill Cosby reference. We probably shouldn't be doing that. Whoa, don't fall. Don't try this at home, kids. That would have been great for our viewership if you would have fallen off the backside of the trailer. It would have been great for everybody but me. Try that, explaining that to my boss at work. Why are you out? And then the bucket fell on top of you after you fell. That would be classic, like, 80s cartoon. Yeah, it sure would. Look at Tom and Jerry. Maybe this, maybe that bucket will do the whole thing. Yeah, ah, I think... I'm starting to be optimistic. We'll see. So you're probably not going to use this. Probably not. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm just going to throw it over the edge. I guess like that. that. Mm, look at that. So after you spread the chocolate pudding on the roof, you bake it at 350 degrees yes. for 25 minutes. With one layer of white marshmallow fluff. Yes. Are you planning on putting some powdered sugar on top for a yeah. finish? Yeah. I've got it okay. in my pocket. Excellent. That's, uh, we leave that for the final garnish right before serving. You don't want to put it on too early because then it just... The chocolate will just soak it up. And oh, yes. You don't even know that. Nobody you're... wants that. No. Nobody it, wants that. Then it disappears. Right. right. You can get this at your local Gordon Food Services in 10, 15, and 30 gallon buckets. Oh. You know, whenever I get home from a hard day at work, I look for my 30 gallons of Gordon chocolate pudding. As you should. So, there's nothing, nothing to, uh, really say, I did good today. Oh yeah. And then down in 30 gallons of chocolate pudding. Of course. While you're watching the Night Rider Historians, the latest video. That's true, right? I just wish you would subscribe to the channel, Eric. Well, you know, maybe if you uh, re-promote me back to Assistant Night Rider Historian. That's, that's all right, I, I'll get someone else to subscribe. You know what? Are you a Patreon supporter, Eric? Oh, did you hear that, folks? Eric, who says he loves Knight Rider and loves the Knight Rider historians, is not even a Patreon supporter. You know what, Joe? Some of you guys are. I contribute in many other ways. You contribute in many other ways, like whenever I do all of the work on the trailer, you say, good job. Yes, that is one major contribution. On top of driving 1,600 miles in a couple of days, which... I, should... I alluded to earlier, I told them we would tell them later what that was about. Maybe in a minute I'll take them downstairs and show them why you just drove 1,600 miles in two days. And when you do that, come back up here and I uh, want to give a quick shout out to somebody about that. Later. Okay, well I'll tell you what, you are doing just barely an adequate job, so I'm going to leave you be and I'll be back. Yeah, you leave me be. You have something on your head. Much chocolate sauce. <laughs> okay. I think he, the fumes are getting to him. 
Anyways, the reason Eric drove 1,600 miles is right here. So as you guys might remember, we had another kitchenette that was really, really close to the style, except it only had one big door on the bottom. The one in the show had two doors exactly like this. So um, one of our fans from New York contacted us, said, I think I have the exact kitchenette you need. So Eric drove from Chicago to here to pick up the old kitchenette, then all the way to New York, swapped them, and brought this all the way back. This is the exact model that you see on the show, the two doors. Now, of course, it was covered in fake, uh, you know, wood paneling and stuff, which we'll get to. But now we have the absolute correct one. Man, you can really hear him. Look at them. Watch him walking. You can see the roof bowing. That's normal. He's got to weigh like, I don't know, 600 pounds, something like that. Let's see if he's done yet. I'm just getting started on the third colt, Mr. Moody. <laughs> now, Eric, are you telling the truth? Don't con me. Oh, that's what it is. <laughs> uh, I, I'm sorry, Mr. Mahood. I just meant I was just getting started. <laughs> what are you looking at, butthead? That uh, Eric, such a character. Always trying to get away with something. Quick shout out to. Oh, oh. Bill Laredo of Laredo Construction in New York for uh, trading us that beauty uh, kitchenette still that Joe just showed you guys downstairs. He just happened to have the exact one we needed and stumbled across our channel by, what do you say? You know, just surfing the internet. So like many of you other people that have helped us out by accidentally stumbling upon our channel, it's, uh, it's been a great ride and we appreciate the help. We need it. All right, enough of that. It's time for me to criticize you. Um, that was true. How are you gonna get to it now? Oh no, no, around the... It's great, Eric. I give you 13 tasks and you can't complete one of them. Assistant to the uh, uh, Let me... Hey, I'm gonna throw it back at you. Where's this brush that you told me about that you were gonna give me for that? My assistant to the assistant to the assistant to the assistant janitor. Let me see that for a second. See. Sometimes you just have to do it yourself. <laughs> By the way, this part is going to be the part that's done the best because I did it. Wow. Just remember, I've got access to this four and a half gallon bucket. Just remember, I have access to the ladder that gets you down. Take care. Touché. I'll get you your, your uh, brush. One moment. Hope you guys are having fun. I know I'm having fun not doing the work for a change. Oh. Hey guys, so the weather outside isn't the greatest today. So we're gonna do this next segment from the comfort of my top secret lair, AKA my basement. Um, wanted to take a minute and go over our latest Patreon flag agents. So what is a flag agent you might ask? Well, we have a Patreon community where you guys can support us, um, if you'd like. And there are four tiers to this support. And our top tier are flag agents. And as a flag agent, you get access to all our videos early. You get behind the scenes footage and videos and uh, pictures that you don't get anywhere else. And it's just just a, a kind of a really, really neat community of, of uh, I guess you could say, Knight Rider super fans. So um, today what we're going to do is go over our latest uh, flag agents and our flag agent questions. If you're interested in becoming a Patreon supporter, whether it be a flag agent or one of our other levels, you can check out the link right now at the bottom of this video, um, but down in the description, and there's a link in the corner of this video right now. All right, so it's been a while since we've done one of these, and um, we have a new flag agent, Scott Benson, Scott, thanks so much for joining us. We've known Scott for many, many years. Awesome guy, very, very helpful for the com to the community. And uh, we're excited to have you here, Scott. All right, so let's go over our flag agent questions. First one is from Michael Hull. Question about the trailer. The damage on the bottom, do you think it might have been from the episode 10 Wheel Trouble where they drove through the rock truck? 
Uh, no, Michael, definitely not from that. In fact, if you watch that scene, it was actually filmed with miniatures. So they never used the actual semi to crash through the rock truck. It was all miniature work. So definitely not from that. Um, some of that damage on the bottom that we found, you know, you watch the show and you don't see some of that damage there. So I'm not sure if that was done maybe after the show ended or not. We have some more research to do there, but definitely not from the rock truck in 10 wheel trouble. All right. Next question, Redline Garage HW asks, I have two questions about the trailer. First, I notice all the holes near the front of the trailer because of the light coming in. In the latest video, in the latest video, will those be filled? Um, yes, in fact, um, they've already been filled since you saw that. I don't think I, it's not on a video yet, but all of those holes have now been filled. Um, Crudely, they still need sanded and finished, but they are filled, which is great. Some of those holes in the front though are factory holes, like the ones going down the center. Those are the holes for the uh, wire track on the outside and then the holes for the Dorsey logo at the top. So some of those we kept, the others we filled in. Um, and two, if the damage at the bottom cannot be seen in the show, do you plan on replacing the rivets with original style rivets? Um, no, we're gonna leave the rivets as is unless we are like a thousand percent sure that they were replaced. But um, actually, even then, we're, we're not gonna replace them. And here's why. Whenever they put those rivets in, they drilled the hole. Those, those rivets are a little bit bigger that they replaced them with. They drilled the holes bigger. So I can't use the original style rivets in the correct size without doing a ton of work, filling them in and re-drilling. And I don't think we're gonna do that. And the places on the trailer where we know there was damage and the rivets were replaced are the same exact same style and they look just about as old as the other rivets so um you know i think it's best probably just leave those alone once it's all painted black you know it, it's you're not going to notice it unless you're right up against it all right next question justin restifo restifo sure um, I'm watching David Hasselhoff's show on Amazon called ZE Network. In the show, he is playing himself. The show takes place in Germany. In the show, he buys himself a screen used kit prop car. Do you know if this car was used in Knight Rider? Do you know if there is one more screen used kit at Universal or is that just a rumor? All right, so first of all, um, I have not seen the clip that Hasselhoff is, is in where he buys a screen used kit prop car but I can guarantee you it is not screen used. It is a replica. It was never used in the show. It might be screen used from some other production, you know, decades later, but it was never used in the show, guaranteed. Um, and do you know if there's one more screen used kit at Universal or just a rumor? Definitely a rumor. We've been to Universal a number of times. We have some contacts there. I can guarantee you the only screen used kit still at Universal is one of the attack kits, the Mustangs, from the 2008 series. There are no screen used Trans Ams left anywhere at Universal. All right, Swiss Knight 2000 asks, how did they make kit scanner sound? Is there a story behind it? You know, that I've had a lot of people ask me that. And the truth is, I don't 100% know. We've never really researched it. I mean, obviously, kit scanner was um, developed based on the Cylons in the late 70s Battlestar Galactica. The, scan, the Cylon scan sound was a little bit different than the actual one. Actually, the Cylon scanner sound, I think matches Kit, the first time you see him in the pilot in the warehouse when the, the scanner comes on, that sounds like the Cylons, but then the regular scanner sound used for most of the rest of the series was a slightly different sound. I don't know where exactly that came from. Maybe find, need to find someone in the sound effects department and uh, interview them. Maybe we'll, we'll do that and do a future video on it. Uh, let's see. Okay, another question from Michael Hall. In the episode Big Iron, after Michael and Kit are pushed off the cliff and buried, even though they land sideways in relation to the cliff, it appears that when they turbo boost out, they're flying straight up, then came back down. Can you explain this, or is it just my imagination? No, you are correct. Um, the car rolls down, so the hill is here, and the car lands like this, but whenever Kit turbo boosts, he turbo boosts out like this. Um, I can explain this. It was just an oversight, you know, continuity error if you want. Um, obviously when the car rolled down the hill, they actually flipped a real Trans Am, a stock Trans Am, they rolled it down, 
but they intermixed that with a uh, miniature model as well. And then when the car turbo was out, that was all a miniature. So it was just, it was just someone wasn't paying attention. That's all that. That's as simple as that. Stephanie Job or Joby, probably Job. Also, if you haven't answered this before, what was the most used filming location besides Universal Studios? Ooh, that is a great question. Um, although I think I know the answer. It was the, um, the New Hall Film Ranch, Pico Canyon, that area. So I've talked about it a few times on the channel. Anytime you see uh, Michael and Kit like out in the middle of nowhere, like the um, showdown with Goliath in Goliath Returns where Kit goes off the cliff, or um, in the pilot where Michael is sleeping and the police cars come up to him, uh, or Junkyard Dog where the acid pit was. All those locations, that was all filmed at a private um, piece of land out in New Hall, California. And um, the reason they filmed out there is because it was close to the studio, but it looked like it was out in the middle of nowhere, which was kind of neat. And um, it's all closed. You can't drive through those, those roads without permission. But um, as I understand it, most of it still looks exactly like it did back in the 80s. We'd love to get access to that one day. That'd be really cool. Uh, and our final set of questions comes from Brandon Treat. During the parade video, so we just recently did a video, a 4th of July parade where me and my son drove uh, one of our screen use kits through a parade. I got a really good look at Kit's dash. I know that most of the close-up shots of Kit's dash seen in the show were a dash, dash on a sound stage and not in a car. My question is, when you see Michael activating an ability, is that really David Hasselhoff's hand that's pressing the button or somebody else's? Definitely somebody else's. Um, a couple years ago, we talked to a guy named Eric Vesper, and um, I believe his interview is in is on the channel. But he was part of the insert crew, did all the insert shots, you know, um, the close ups of things like that, pressing buttons or or a handshake, things like that. And it would have been him or one of his crew that did the close ups. It was. I don't know if it was ever Hasselhoff or the inserts, because those were all done separately on a sound stage, and Hasselhoff wasn't even there. So definitely not Hasselhoff. All right, that concludes our questions this time. So again, if you're interested in joining Patreon as a flag agent or really as any level, we'd greatly appreciate it. There's a link in the description below. We'd love to have you. All right, it's time to get back to work on the semi. Here we are. As you can see, Eric hasn't gotten anything done. Joe, I feel like you need a little bit of chocolate sauce. I'm allergic to chocolate. Even better. It makes me violent, like the Hulk. I don't need chocolate to make me violent. We also have this little guy too, if this would help. Oh. This guy. Eric, why don't you tell our fine folks here about what you like to do in your spare time besides Night Rider? Well, I like to bake, which is maybe why I had chocolate sauce on my mind. Um, What's uh? What you saying? What uh, do you bake? Um, I primarily like to bake cupcakes, and uh, as, in addition to that, I like other car stuff besides Knight Rider. And I'm also active in various theater related projects, both live theater and dabble in some other stuff. I did uh, motion capture for a video game company before. If you guys have heard of the Saints Row video game series, um, I did Saints Row 3, I think it was, a couple years ago. That was a really fun experience. If you guys have ever seen motion capture, pretty fun. It's about as fun as it looks. You get paid to run around in, in these pajama looking things. You got like Velcro balls all over you, these sensors and all these cameras, they're uh, lined up and they're calibrated. You're like in this wrestling mat platform and they're very particular about don't knock the wires because if you knock the wires, everything gets knocked out of calibration. They got to recalibrate it. Huh. That's it's not super difficult, but it's just tedious and time consuming. So when you step on and off the mat, 
you got to make sure like you step over all the wires. Interesting. But it's a lot of fun. So that was the first title I did. And then a couple years later for the Oculus Rift headset, there is a game called Damaged Core. So I did motion capture for that. All right, let's check in on Eric here. See what's going on. Oh, that's a little wobbly. That's okay. Let's just see what things look like up here. Oh yeah. How's it going, Eric? It's going all right. We are definitely have enough for at least one full coat. That's good. At least visually one coat. Yep, smells like roof sealant up here. Yeah, just, I was saying earlier, it does not smell like chocolate pudding. No. Well, that's so you don't confuse it and actually. This is true. Because it's been done before. So for all of our viewers, you see how wavy the back is there? That was actually like that on the show. So there was a header panel in there with the marker lights and that header panel curved up and over about six inches. There's actually a line. You can just kind of see there's a line of silicone where the old panel was adhered on the top. But the problem is like it goes like this and then it dips down right in the middle. And actually there's a great shot of from 10 wheel trouble where the semi is pulling out. And if you look at the back, you can see that trim piece and you can see a cavity, a, an opening right there because um, that's the way it was on the show. This was all bowed. Um, so we're gonna have to figure something out there because we don't want water to sit in that little area. But that's a problem for another day. Hard to believe that we're getting closer and closer to painting this thing. Crazy. This is the warm up. Yeah. Why are you planning to paint it by rolling the black paint on the side? Yeah, I thought that's what we discussed. That would be interesting, wouldn't it? Yeah. Okay. Pretty sure you wouldn't be happy with the results of that. Oh, but I did remember while you were gone, one of the reasons why I'm not a Patreon subscriber is because um, I pay you a monthly friendship fee. And what you charge me for that is way more than a Patreon subscriber. Oh, by the way, inflation, that's going to go up. Yeah, so. That's what you told me last time you raised the price. Well, there's been a lot of inflation. You just got a drop on me, Eric. You know what? I'm sorry that there's not a drop to drink. <laughs> hey, it's no big thing. Hey, wasn't it was a custom kit when they had the uh, sliding in the oil puddles? Yeah. That's what this reminds me of. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, this this stuff is going a long way. See, here I thought we were just going to start a game where every sentence we said was a different episode title. But then you totally blew it. And that's why I pay you a month for your friendship. What do you think of this town that I live in? Huh, funny you say that because I was talking to myself slash our viewers earlier and I was saying it's so nice and peaceful and quiet up here. So I'm from the Windy City and it's not like this. I mean, would you say it's... Uh, nice indecent little town is how i'd refer what's to indecent it. about it eric what what's indecent about well, it what i meant to say was it's a nice decent little town okay i'll take that i mean it's no good day at white rock but it'll work how long are we gonna do this well apparently not long because you keep dropping the ball what's that smell not chocolate pudding. No, it's the center roses. That's what it is. Wow. Uh, yesterday, I took a picture of the center view while I was on many of my 1600 miles. I drove past a semi truck that was hauling. What did you say it was hauling? Uh, Produce. Oh, was it onions? It was. 
at first I thought it was oranges, and then as I got closer, I'm like, those aren't oranges, those are onions. Barring any disaster, the smoke could last for months. Yes. <laughs> you know, I was thinking whenever this trailer came here, I was thinking about parking it back there a little bit further, but then I said, no, it really should be out of the woods. Let me ask you this, how long have you been planning this little uh, word game of yours? Right Literally 30 seconds. As soon as you said not a drop to drink, I thought about it. I need to get See away See everybody? From That's why he's a Knight Rider historian and I'm just an assistant. The way you're rolling that on, I mean, those are some deadly maneuvers. That's all wow. I gotta say. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, Joe will be here all night signing autographs. I could keep going. Uh, uh, actually, I, I, your your underwear is inside out. <laughs> see, I can keep going. Let's see. Oh, Eric. Poor Eric, my brother's keeper. My brother. <laughs> well, when we originally went to go buy all this stuff. I thought I could get it all together, but I realized they don't sell this in a custom kit. <laughs> oh, that's so terrible. I learned by watching you! <laughs> oh, that's so terrible. And see, now I'm just sitting here trying to think of another one that makes sense. You know, if we're going to do this, your shirt is quite wrinkled. It looks like you need maybe a, a big iron. <laughs> like a real big one. I don't know if I'm getting sick from the smell or these puns. These are excellent. Just watch your blind spot. You don't want to like fall or anything. Although if you do fall, then I guess I would be the sole survivor of oh! the group here. So. I mean, there's that. Well, since you brought up the question earlier, Joe, why don't you tell uh, the audience what else you like to do in your free time, AKA stand up? You know, comfort of stand your up? Room. Yes, that's all I do. I Yes, I go in my room and I look at the mirror and I do stand up comedy. He has uh, Dr. Barstow and RC uh, as his audience. Yes. Well, you know. It's the best I could do on short notice. I was waiting for it. Where's and it frankly, to... Eric, let's be honest, nobody does it better. Ah, oh, maybe AJ. Oh, look, a white bird. Huh, that's weird. What is that? It's you smell something? That is the Son of Roses. But I think you already used that, so. I already used Son of Roses, Eric. But I did not. And we did not clearly establish the rules of this game. Clearly I'm better at this, so please, just let it be me. Ah. Come on. I'm trying to make sealing a roof interesting for our viewers. Yes. Well. And this is about as good as I can do. Said before, nobody does it I mean, the only other thing I do is go get a lighter and light a ring of fire around you. That might, they might like that. Of course, that would be a that would be a whole bunch of nightmares. <laughs> no one wants that. Help me, please. Oh my. <laughs> my name is Leila. Leila. Leila Callon. My husband is Craig Callon. Yeah, I think he tried to kill me. See, now, now, now I'm blanking on all these episode names. I'm trying to think of stuff and then... That's because I've used like 30% of them already. And that's why you are the Night Rider historian. Well, it's tough because it's hard to naturally use any of the names that have night in them for I the guess. most part. Exactly. That's why I was like, hmm. I mean... I mean, Night of the Phoenix. I mean, we, we already used a few, so it's like, what do you... It becomes obvious that you're explicitly trying to come up with stuff at some point. Right. Don't stretch. Hey Eric, why do you think the electric company called me? I don't know why, but I feel like you're going to tell me. It's just... It's to just send me just my bill. <laughs> I don't know how that didn't work. <laughs> 
Well, can they do that on such short notice? Well, apparently they can. <laughs> Allow me to move the ladder. Hey, could you move the ladder, please? Allow me to move the ladder, I said. So you want me to let it be you? That's a, let it be you? Is that a sequel? Is that the sequel episode where Stevie comes back? Yeah. Stevie March. Not She's to be mad. confused with Stevie Mason. She's mad because she was blaming herself all that time before, saying, you know, let it be me. And she's like, no, it's you, not me. Let it be you yeah. for once, Michael. Let it be you. I mean, he's just out there gallivanting around and fulfilling his James Bond fantasies. And... You mean his James Bond fantasies run amok? Yes. Yes. That's what I meant. Yes. Did you know uh, you're the fourth junior executive assistant to the Knight Rider historian janitor? What? That I've had. You're the fourth one. That's not what you told me originally. The other three are no longer here. They're they're in the burial ground back there. I'm speechless. I have no speech. <laughs> Well, it's, it's really, all right, I'll let you in on a secret. So the burial ground, I didn't know, you know, how to do that. But then I went on Amazon and I bought this thing. I bought this, this thing on Amazon that helps you, you know, make a burial ground. It was called a killer kit. Wow. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I read you loud and clear. I'm sorry folks, these are all really terrible. I'm going to be shunned, but don't worry, in about five to ten years I'm going to make a comeback and you're going to say, boy, that was the redemption of a champion. That's not why you're going to be shunned, but okay. You got to stop scaring me with all these puns because otherwise it's going to be a fright night. If you keep oh, oh yeah, it is getting dark. Okay, well, I think we've successfully finished our fun little game here because you're going to need my help to move the ladder. So trying I'm trying to think, to think of, minute, I'm trying like, to think of the last remember. one and I just, and I, was too, but I, I just can't because I think like every other title has the word night in it. Hey, do you see that sunset? It looks like the night of the rising sun. But the sun's setting, Eric. That didn't make any sense at all. It's reverse rising, okay? Work with me. Now. All right. I now shall descend upon the ladder. Please, whatever you do, forget me not. And scene. And scene. paint the fence and then wax your car oh yeah there's definitely I, I think this is still from when I first poured it because it was much thicker yeah because I didn't uh, know it quite yet just do another coat we probably have enough, don't we? yeah I think I think we do I, Cause yeah, there's, there could be like lighter spots that I don't, you know, it's harder to see now until it dries. Yeah. yeah and then I still have to paint the edges of that first vent. All right. Eric has now disappeared as quickly as he reappeared around here and it's the next day. So let's go up there and see how the sealant has set. Hopefully it's set. I'll be curious to see if there's still any wet spots up here. Let's see here. You can see here we're filling in, starting the bodywork. That's always fun. Let's see what we got. 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's all dry and black. Oh, that's awesome. You can see just overnight the stuff from the trees that came down on it, but fortunately it's not sticking to it. It comes right off. Still have to, we're gonna paint those black as well like they were in the show. Oh yeah, you can see a light haze of all this stuff already. Looks so much better. This is coat one. We're gonna do another coat here um, at some point, but now the roof is sealed and it's back to black, which is awesome. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let us know in the comments below. More to come on the trailer very soon. It feels like we should, you know, think about getting this painted. Oh, all in good time. All right, thanks so much for watching. See you next time.